Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of The Vinyl Den, your channel for record collectors by record collectors. I'm Ian, and I figured I would do a quick unboxing for you all. This is Nick's idea. Um, probably suggested it because I don't uh, contribute quite enough to the channel, at least not as much as he does. Uh, so I figured I, I just picked up something and it's kind of special, special to me anyway, and I figured I'd show it off to you. Okay, today I'm going to be unboxing for you all the 20th anniversary. We got a good light on this here. Uh, 20th anniversary deluxe edition or limited edition of Floggy Molly's first, uh, well, their debut album, Swagger. Uh, I love this album and I've been hoping to get this on vinyl. I think they have a vinyl pressing of it, official or unofficial, but it's it was super expensive on Discogs, so I, I never really gave it much thought. Um, I did pick up Drunken Lullabies um, not too long ago, which I think was her second album. Uh, that was a 2015 pressing, I think. Um, but this, I guess, came out late in 2020 um, to celebrate the 20th anniversary, which is... 2021 because uh, this came out in 2001 uh, so here it goes i'm going to open it up for y'all let's see what's inside uh, as gently as possible i don't want to damage it i'm sure some of you will be like what is he doing uh, i didn't touch the actual packaging just the plastic uh, never done an unboxing before so i'm not really sure if this is how you're supposed to do it or not. But plastic off. Let's see what we got here. So it came in this cool actual real real box. And right on top, we've got here. Ooh, some flogging Molly buttons. Let's see if we can get a little closer to the video here. Uh, now something like this, I mean, buttons on jackets were huge in the 80s. I was never big. I had an Alice Cooper button on my jacket when I was like 11. Uh, and it unfortunately got damaged and went the way of the jacket as well. So I don't think I'm going to actually even take these out of the packaging. I'm going to leave them in the packaging. Um, here we go. Oh, now I will point out, now this is, so this came, this is in there as well. It's a, a cardboard sleeve with the Swagger Live 2000. This was recorded, uh, let's see if it says where it was recorded. Uh, recorded live on tour, um, bits and pieces from San Jose, San Francisco, actually three separate locations in San Francisco. Um, throughout 2000. Um, I will point out that it did, it's got a patch in here as well, an iron-on patch, but because it was, the patch was inside with the disc, it did kind of damage the cardboard. It separated the, the glue a little bit. Not that big of a deal. Um, I can press it down a little bit. It, it doesn't seem to have damaged the actual sleeve, so just the, just the glue. Um, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is, I think this is a DVD. I'm not really sure. I'll have to look and see if there's a, a booklet or something in there. So I'm going to leave this out until I can make sure that this is fixed. I don't want to get any gummy glue on the disc. Now, this is kind of cool. It came with a platter mat, Floggy Molly platter mat. Very cool. I, I don't, I've only got my um, Audio Technica uh, platter mat. It, you know, they're cool. They're cool to have. Um, and I keep that on there, obviously, to protect the records when it's spinning. But the records on top of it, it doesn't really matter. But I may, I'm probably, I might use this for a little while, just to you know, have it on there. It's really, it's really a cool design. Um, that's, that's pretty neat. Uh, it looks like it came with a nice little, booklet as well. Uh, let's see what it's got in here. It doesn't seem to have any pictures. It's got, ooh, the lyrics, handwritten and typed. Uh, do a page. Uh, turn to a, let's see, one of my favorite songs on the album. 
So yeah, right there. Life, life in a tenement square. Lyrics kind of typed out. Something you would probably find in a normal, you know, gatefold album. You know, it's probably a little heavier duty. It's got the the paper stock is real thick and very. It's kind of um. I wouldn't say it's not glossy. It's matte finish. So it's a really really nice book. Um, it's got a breakdown of the all the people involved in the production of the of the album. I'll kind of run that across the screen. The band there, and you know, uh, notes on players and artists and engineers, that sort of thing. Very very cool. And then here is the prize. So this is a three record set. This is the actual gatefold of the record. Pull out, I'll pull, pull it out and show you all. Very nice, very clean. Sorry, I keep trying to aim it at the, uh, the camera there. Um, this is black vinyl. Now, I read somewhere that this was supposed to be colored vinyl, like I think a red vinyl. I don't remember it saying that in the in the description when I ordered it, but when it other people said that it, it they thought it was supposed to be colored and it came with black vinyl. It doesn't matter to me, uh, but some people have complained about that. Ultimately, for me, I, I do like color, colored vinyl, especially splatter, um, splatter color, but it, it doesn't affect me in any way to have even a, a limited edition or a collector's edition record on black vinyl. As long it's it's all about the packaging when it comes to something like this. So the album's uh, two two discs. Um, Spread out pretty pretty evenly. It looks like uh, four songs on side A and side D, and then side B and side C have three songs. It's it's spread out pretty well, um, and I do believe this is just a thirty three. I don't know that for sure. I'll, I'll glance in the book before I finish the video just to make sure. Now the third disc is, I believe, the audio from that DVD on vinyl, which is the Flogging Molly Live. Uh, and actually, I take that back. This is actually different. This was recorded in Chicago um, at one, one, one performance, uh, February 17th, 2001. So that's very cool. This is so about a year, six months to a year after the what I have on the DVD. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool stuff, actually. Um, so it came with a live album, the full the full original release. I'm gonna glance here in the liner notes and see if uh, it actually does say what uh, what's anything on the DVD. It doesn't say. I, I, I'll have Nick put uh, some the, the actual like um, uh, description from the from the order sites. Um, I did order this on Amazon because I have not seen this in any of the stores. And up until I ordered this, I didn't even know it came out. Like I said, it came out, I think, October or November of 2020. And I didn't even know it existed until I saw it. I think it was actually posted on, someone had posted it on our Facebook um, group. And I'd seen it and I was like, I have to have that. And from what I can tell, it's a really nice package. It wasn't terribly expensive either. It was 60 bucks, um, which, I mean, can be considered a little pricey, but not when you're getting um, the full record, uh a live album the little knickknacks the um uh, platter mat the buttons and a dvd on top of it um i believe it's a dvd i keep saying dvd i don't want to mislead anybody but i think i believe it's a dvd uh so i mean that's it it's uh it's a pretty complete package and it's it's pretty cool uh i i don't think they're gonna i wouldn't imagine they would do this with any of their other records um part of me hopes they don't because I don't want to have to spend sixty dollars on all of their records, and I do intend to have all of their records. Uh, but now I have their first two. I have Swagger and Drunken Lullabies. 
Um, I would pull it out, but it's the video is about swagger, so we'll just uh, leave it as is. So there you have it, folks. Uh, swagger 20th anniversary box set. So there you have it. If uh, if you want, check out uh, check out the Facebook group because, like I said, that's where I actually originally seen uh, saw this. Someone else, someone in the group had had purchased this as well, and uh, so you know, there's a lot of things you might learn, things you might want to share with the group. If you're not already a, a member, go and join. It's Facebook, I know, but you know, it's not political. That's awesome. Um, also, if you like the video, thumbs up, subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell, ding, ding. I don't know if any of you like when I do that. I just do it. Uh, and there you go. We'll talk to y'all later.